so I gotta build a box. Give me the box. Relax. But first, well, let me just show you. Right there. You need a box right there. I'm gonna build this box completely out of two by fours. I picked up 11 eight foot two by fours that I'm going to knock off the edge. So make them about three inches wide and then I'm gonna resaw them in half and make them about three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, except for the legs. The legs are gonna, we're gonna maintain the thickness of the two by four. By making this box out of two by fours, it makes the project a lot more cost effective than if I would have bought finished boards forever. I think this whole thing cost me $50 in lumber. So resawing, never done that before. This ought to be fun. So I wanna cut all of these eight foot two by fours down to four foot two by fours. Straight edge is tied in there, 48 inches from the blade. Let's see if this works. Okay, I thought it was crazy, but that's a 48 inch cut. These eight foot two by fours are like eight and a half foot long. Is that normal? Okay, okay, I just read the internet and apparently I'm an idiot. And the measurement on those boards is totally normal. It has something to do with ceiling height and I don't know. I just, silly me, you say eight foot, I think it's eight foot. Given that a two by four is not really two by four, should have figured that one out. The good news is the stop lock works. So let's cut some lumber. I think we need to take a little break to change this blade out. I'm just smoking up a storm in here. Now we're gonna start measuring the final dimensions of the box. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we don't need to be going and focusing on old pinhead every time we say the word box. The legs on the outside, which are gonna be full thickness two by fours, kinda, are 23 inches. We're gonna cut those to length right now because Today, if we have time, oh, we might just burn them. <sighs> hot, hot. Good God. I think I just made it worse. Birth control glasses. I don't know if you can see this. We're gonna cut the front and back lengths first. I need 12, 40 and a half inch pieces, but since I haven't cut this lumber in half yet, I need six. The sides and the bottom should be the same dimension. They should be the same length, but we're just gonna cut the sides right now. And here's why. This is the most pre-cut lumber I've put into a project, and I have trust issues. So what we have here is some legs and some sides and some fronts and some backs. But now we gotta knock off all the edges of the two by fours and then cut the two by fours in half. Stuff I've never done before. Yay! It's after lunch. I have a new shirt on. Why? Because the old shirt was soaked through a sweat because it's hot. Off camera, I went ahead and reconfigured the garage so we can saw the edges off the two by fours and do the resawing of the two by fours. I like to call this the lament configuration. Ho, 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 ho. I see what you did there. So you get the idea, right? We went from this curved edge to cutting it to this flat. So now we're gonna do this on this side. So now we got this going on. No more lumpy old two by four. And we got all those boards sawed and only screwed one up. Yay. I know I said that I was gonna try to burn the legs today. It is 2.30 and I got like dad stuff. We're back. Got my dad stuff out of the way. It's actually Father's Day today, so happy Father's Day to me and all you dads. So what is half of one and three eighths? 11 sixteenths. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're sawing two by fours in half, right? Two by four is, so right side up. A two by four is actually one and a half inches wide. We wanna cut this board right down the middle so we have two equal halves. Now you would think 
that you just take one and a half and half it, right? It's just three quarters, but you gotta take into consideration the width of the blade on the table saw. And the width of the blade is approximately one eighth inch wide. So you gotta subtract that off first and then have your number. So 11 sixteenths. Math is easy, I ain't gonna lie. I had to ask my wife what the answer was. Let's get to work. Moment of truth time. There we are. And there we are. It's pretty damn close. All right, let's do this. All right, I think that's got it. I raised the blade just a little bit. I was getting a little nub in there, so I had it set at one and a half, but I raised it to probably one and three quarters. I'm still getting a little bit of that lip on there, uh, but I'll just sand that off. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. So, why don't you guys go get a cup of coffee or something, and I'm gonna saw these off camera. But if anything comes up, I'll let you know. Next, I'm going to clean this up, and then we are going to assemble the legs, and then we are going to burn the legs, and then I'm gonna have lunch with my kids. I'm just gonna attach these two together. So when you're looking at the box, you'll see this, and you'll see this on the side. Got it? Good. All right, so this is after two torches and uh, one scraping the wire brush. I don't know if you can see that. See that kind of nice brown color in there. another day let's build some shit. lid is done ta-da and now <laughs> you know how I said it was hot it's gonna get a lot hotter because I gotta light that on fire let's burn some shit. Can you hear my kids yelling? They've been crazy all day. They've figured out how to get out of their cribs, so now they just don't nap, and they just become little assholes in the afternoon. Do you smell that? It's the smell of, this box is almost done. I have such sights to show you. Hey, box works, what do you know? And I do realize the screws are too long for the lid, but I wanted to maintain the black heads, so I'm just gonna have to take a Dremel and cut. Time to finish, kids. What are you doing? No!